how is it playing a horror film? So let me know, how did you prepare for the film? Um, well, I watched, um, I actually had not seen the original Texas Chainsaw because I'm sort of a scaredy cat. So I watched the original movie and I was blown away by how amazing it was. It made me really excited to be in the film. I watched the Jessica Biel version. I watched a couple other movies to watch performances. And um, and then it's basically just, you know, finding that emotional place to work yourself up to, to be able to run and scream and cry for days and days and days. And that was sort of a, an interesting challenge for me and a lot of fun too. And as for you, you're Mr. R&B yourself, so how did you make the transition into acting? Because I know you do a lot of acting maybe in videos yeah. and on stage, but now coming into doing a horror film. Uh, it was a, a, a transition that I, I took on very seriously. You know, um, I've been offered movie roles uh, since the beginning of my career, and I, I think it's all about timing and, and uh you know, I actually was in the middle of recording my album and the time span in which the movie wanted to be shot. Uh, I had just magically time off that I was supposed to be taking to myself. Uh, John, the director, he came to the studio uh, very late at night, you know, and he stayed for hours, you know, uh, telling me why he wanted me to be a part of the film, telling me uh, what he'd be willing to do to protect my interest in the film. And uh, we bonded on another level as men as well. Like, he's from Virginia, I'm from Virginia. Uh, and, you know, he, he, he basically really wanted me to be a part of it. So I took another look at it, because, you know, in horror films, guys like me, we don't really last long, you know what I mean? So I had, <laughs> I had to check some things out, and we, we got that situated. And, uh, <laughs> you know, here I am. <laughs> so was that your call? <laughs> uh, the thing that was one of them. <laughs> was one of my calls, but uh, it, what I love about it is that it's actually uh, it, as a, as a musician turned actor, it's not a lot of pressure as far as acting is concerned. I can still get my feet wet, uh, get my chops up, and be surrounded by such young talent that was uh, great and always there for me if I needed anything, if I wanted to know anything. That was not a, a dumb question ever to be asked, and they were always there around to support me. Alex, thank you. I love you. Who is that? Hey! Hey! Go. What? the chemistry on set because you guys were a couple? Um, I think that, well, I'm really lucky that Trey is a really wonderful guy. And um, I think, you know, all of us uh, really bonded and got to know each other and really liked, genuinely liked each other. So I think that, you know, we were comfortable around each other and that, that made all the difference. I mean, it could have been you know, we could have hated each other, but <laughs> it's really great that everyone was really great and wanted to be there, and, and it made it really wonderful. Oh, great. So do you have a single on the soundtrack? Uh, I actually have a song in a movie. Okay. Yeah, but uh, the soundtrack, I'm not sure actually what we're doing with that. Okay. Well, thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you.